Hello students. In the last video, we showed you how to expand expressions in this form, a plus b in brackets times a minus b in brackets, and to get the answer a squared minus b squared. Now, if we have an expression in the form a squared minus b squared, we can work backwards and factorize that, and that gives us a plus b in brackets times a minus b in brackets. So once again, this is a special form for factorizing, and it means we can write the answer down in one step. So let's go ahead and apply it to these three, these three questions down here. Now I'm going to do this in two steps, and this one in two steps, and then the last one I'll do in one step. So it's probably a good idea when you're first learning all of this to figure out how to do it in two steps to start with, or do it in two steps to start with, and then do that middle step mentally once you're getting uh, pretty confident with it. So in this case, I've got x squared. So a is obviously x. This is b squared. So this is really going to be of the form x squared minus 6 squared. So you do need to know your square numbers in order to be able to do this. That means a is equal to x, b is equal to 6. So I've got a squared minus b squared which means I can rewrite it in factorized form as a plus b times a minus b. And if you expanded that out, you'd get back to that. Looking at the second one, first thing you have to ask yourself is, is that a perfect square? Is something squared equal to 9x squared? And is that a square? If the answer is yes, you can use the difference of two squares. If the answer is no, then you need to find an alternative method of factorizing. So I'm going to write this out um, as 3x in brackets all squared minus 1 squared. So that is 3x all squared. So that's a squared minus b squared, where b is 1. Well, that means that I can write this as um, a squared, sorry, excuse me, a plus b, a minus b, where a is 3x, so 3x plus 1, 3x minus 1. So I was able to factorize that quickly by using the special pattern called difference of two squares. Let me do this one without writing that middle step. I'll just do it in my head. So what I think here is 4x squared. Well, that is just equal to 2x all squared. So a is 2x. So that's going to be 2x plus and 2x minus. And uh, what squared gives me 49? It's going to be 7. So that gives me 2x plus 7 times 2x takes 7. OK, on the next page. We've got four questions. I'll do two of these, and I'd like you to do the, in fact, I'll do one of them, and I'll like, I'd like you to do the other three. So I might choose to do this one just here. 64 take 100y squared. Well, to start with, I say, is that a perfect square? Yes, it is. That's 8 squared. So I can either do this mentally, or I can write it down. Is that a perfect square? Well, yes, it is. That's 10y all squared. So it fits the pattern of a squared minus b squared, where a is equal to 8 and b is equal to 10y. And I know that that therefore equals a plus b times a minus b. OK, stop the video and factorize the remaining three questions using the difference of two squares. OK, welcome back. Let's see how you went. I'll do this one with two lines of setting out, and then I'll do the remaining two with just the answer. OK, so 9x squared, I can think, well, that is 3x all squared, and 4 is 2 squared. So it fits the pattern of a squared minus b squared. And that then can be factorized as a plus b times a minus b. This one over here, 
Is that a difference of two squares? Well, yes, it is. That's 5x all squared, and that's 1 squared. So that can be written as um, 5x plus 1 times 5x take 1. And the last one, 16b squared, well, that's just 4b all squared. So that's going to be 4b plus, and 9a squared, well, that's just 3a all squared. So 4b plus 3a, 4b minus 3a. So the difference of squares is a very quick way to factorize certain expressions. These are called quadratic expressions. Okay, let's move on and look at a different special product in the next video.